Oh god, don't disappear. Don't. Holy shit! <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today is our second part of our Super Mario Brothers 2 playthrough. We started this one earlier in the week, and now we're gonna finish what we started. Um, we are on World 4, which took us about 40 minutes to get to. You could have got there in about two minutes if you used the first warp in the game, but we're not warping, we're adults. We're gonna adult it up here and play Mario the way God intended, which is warpless, warpless and manned up. We have 14 lives, we've been doing pretty good, although we accidentally selected Luigi ugh, for this level. Um, I don't like Luigi in this game just because he's so floaty and annoying and he sucks at the bosses. He's just too slow. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to pull through because we'll be fine. And a uh, fun bit of trivia here. I've already talked in the other video about how much I love Mario 2, how it's such a magically interesting game and all the characters are so colorful and cool and I have so many memories of collecting cards and stuff as a kid and I really want them to make a Mario sequel. Well, guess what? For the Game Boy Advance, Mario 2 here was the launch title under the title Mar Super Mario Advance. So you can go look this up, but there is sort of a remake of Mario 2, and it has extra power-ups and sound effects and some modified bad guys and levels and stuff. And actually, one day I will play that for the channel because, hey, it's an excuse to return kind of to Mario 2. Um, it's essentially the same game, but things have been modified a little bit. So it's kind of cool. Um, but it was a launch title for Super Mario or for Game Boy Advance. So Nintendo recognizes this game has potential. Um, and maybe one day they will grant me my dying wish and create a title for this. Oh God, I hope that's not my dying wish. I hope like one day I'm not on my deathbed and they're like, what do you want? I'm like, a sequel to Mario 2. And they're like, okay. And then I'm like, really? And they're like, yes. And then they kill me because that would not be what I want. That's not the legacy I want to leave behind. I want my dying wish to be something more awesome. Like, um, I, I don't even know. So awesome that I can't even imagine. I don't know, what would your dying wish be? Because dying wishes suck because uh, you're dying. It's not like a wish you get to enjoy. It's not like you could be like, I wish I could be a millionaire because then you can enjoy it for decades to come. It's like, no, you're dying. What would a, a dying, my dying wish would be not to die. How about that? That's my only dying wish, not to die. Although, I don't know. Who wants to live forever, you know? I mean, actually, I take it back, I do. So, there you go. Oh yeah, these guys, they're riding little cannons that say M on them. I always wondered what the M stood for. Like, it maybe it says Mario. Like, it's a cannon with your name on it, Mario. Only they're fighting Luigi, and they're kind of like, oh, shoot, do we go and spray paint the M off and, like, add the L instead? Or should we just keep it the way it is? And it's a whole big thing. Wee, Luigi's actually flying through this level. Yeah, see, they shoot fireballs. Pretty hilarious. Give me that thing. Give me your egg. It's like he sees you, maybe you pick up the egg and that face really want that the bird face really wants to eat the egg. So as soon as you're holding it, it's like, all right, get in my mouth. Yeah, we're really bad at slot machines here. I wish there were other options like Mario Poker or like Mario High, high Stakes Roulette or something. Let's pink, uh, pick Peach here. We haven't played hers in a while. So this ice level, um, also has its own warps. Ooh, this is always a fun part. I, I still have this memorized from when I was a kid. Like, you duck, jump, duck, jump, and then you jump, and then you duck, and then you stay duck, and then you jump, and then you duck, and then you jump again, and you duck, jump, oh, oh, nah, I got it mostly correct. I didn't get hit is the most important thing. Actually, it's a good thing we have Peach for this level, because she will be pretty handy. We're gonna go like this. So I could warp in this level. I'm not going to, again. Um, but I'll show you where the warp is in case you guys want to play this game and you decide you want to warp. Because, hey, there's no shame in warping as long as you do it in the privacy of your own home. If you're broadcasting it to the internet, then shame on you. You shouldn't be warping in public. Um, so, like me, I'm not gonna warp in front of all you guys. Because that'd be, like, awkward for everyone. But if you want to warp and nobody's, like, watching you, you can warp all you want. Um, so if I wanted to warp, I would have had to hold on to this potion, not waste it here to get some coins. But I did waste it. So let's imagine I'm still holding a potion. And I'll show you. Oh, God! Oh, my God. I almost, almost bit the big one right there. I almost would have to make Peach's dying wish. Yeesh. That was... That's in the biz what we call a lucky break. Okay, if you do want to warp, 
you gotta go like this over here, and then you throw the potion, so you can't go down this one. It's the same as like in World 1, you can't go down it, but if you throw a potion and go into the Dark World, then you can go down it. And that's how you warp. We're not gonna do that though, we're getting into our space rocket ship that's in the Arctic Ocean, because of course. And we were just jumping on a bunch of whales, which is pretty damn cool too. And we're gonna jump on this thing, and do this. So this is how you get by this part. You're not supposed to kill that guy. You're supposed to ride on his thing, and then we'll jump over the porcupines, and boom! That's how you do it. The next level is actually really cool. It has a really neat mechanic to it. Um, that took me a while to figure out as a kid. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to do this as Peach. We're gonna always have to go for, like, the last shell. Shit! <laughs> Or just slide right off the map into into oblivion. All right, we're back to three hits. We got this. It's easy. The thing I forgot to tell you guys is that Mario Two is easy. Okay, jump, jump, jump. All right, this is gonna take a while. We like really got to be patient here. Jump, jump, jump. Yes. Gotcha! <laughs> there we go. I wonder what all these faces do all day. They just stand there, or, like, sit there and just be sad that they're built into walls. Like, they can't do anything. Also, how did they get there? Seems like a fungus or something. Because, like, they can't go around procreating and, like, seed the walls or something. Or, I don't know, maybe they can. It's a thought I don't want to have right now. <laughs> Um, in the original Doki Doki Panic, by the way, that this game is based off of, you couldn't, you couldn't run, which is kind of weird. Um, oh, I accidentally selected Peach again! Oh well. I guess we're playing as Peach. I gotta be careful on those casino stages, because I just hit A and I stop paying attention, and then it makes me, like, accidentally select characters that I don't want to be. Uh, okay, there's a mushroom over here, so I should not have thrown that potion there. Oh, that guy's about to hit me in the face with an egg! Alright, so we go like this. Years of playing Mario have given me an intimate knowledge of the placement of, uh, of things. So you can kill this guy with like plants and stuff, and um, if you do, then nothing will happen. And then you'll come over here and be like, what the, what the heck, where do I go? The secret here, this is so cool actually. Um, it's really neat, you have to like ride an egg. Just ride it <laughs> and see where it goes. We're going wherever the egg wants to take us, people. And if we carried the potion with us, we could have had a whole bunch of coins. So instead, I'll throw these things away in anger. Yep. So, uh, was not thinking that one through. And now we have to climb. I always love these, like, little snowman guys. They're pretty funny. And they, like, slide all over the place. It's nice to see that when enemies slide on ice, the same as you, because one thing everyone hates about ice levels is sliding. And so it's it's real, it's satisfying to see like the enemies also having trouble with the ice. It's funny, you can make them, oh crap! I was gonna say fall off the edge, but then we did too. So you kinda have to be careful. Damn it! These climbing levels are kind of fun because you have to be strategic about where you're standing and stuff to lure enemies in certain positions. Nice try, buddy. They're never gonna get me, I'm too fast for them. I guess the floating really did help me. All right, so it was lucky I picked Luigi on the level I did. I guess it's lucky I picked Peach on the level that I did too. Um, now, if I recall things correctly, damn it. <laughs> So if you do a super jump while holding B, you, you drop whatever you're holding. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Over here. Now do a super jump without dropping it. And... You may be wondering where I'm going. Trust me, I have a plan. Go right over here. And get this. Can't go in this door though. There we go. And what is this? Nothing. I guess we could have gotten two coins, but to hell with it. We'd rather have nothing. Wait, let's dance to the music. Right, it's hard to do it when the screen's scrolling because you can't see me actually moving to the music. So whatever. 
Oh, hello. Oh, God! Get in the door! Get in the door, Peach! Get in the door! We might actually have to throw the key down here. It's always more fun to not throw the key down, try and dodge this guy. Hoyo! Come and get me, buddy! Come get me, I'm right here! Or am I over here? Oh, or am I here? Whoa! Boom! So satisfying to just dodge and weave our way around that guy. Is there anything over here? Oh! <laughs> I wanted to see if there's anything over there, and I almost killed myself. Oh, Jesus. Okay, who we got? Ooh, the fire guy! This guy's actually pretty cool. Oh, God. Pretty cool, but pretty annoying. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Jesus. Let's do it like this. So this guy is made purely out of fire. I remember as a kid when you were collecting the cards, you would read about bosses that you hadn't even seen yet, and you were like, oh my god, there's a guy made out of fire. I can't wait till I get to that level. And it was like this big deal when you finally did. Oops. There we go. Okay, once we hit him a couple more times, he's gonna like turn into a bunch of little fireballs. So what I wanna do is build up a little safe zone over here where they can't get to me. Yoink. Oh, damn it. No, nope, no. Nope. Get the get the thing, Peach, and get the hell out of there <laughs> before he kills you. There we go. All right. Boom. Oh, they're up here. They're oh no, they're on top. Oh no. Okay, I think we're okay now. I don't think they can get up here. We're gonna kill them. Oh shoot. Okay, here we go. Kill your fire babies. Here. There we go. Easy. It's all about planning ahead, building fortifications with the uh, little blocks and stuff. It's kind of weird that the boss of an ice level was a fire guy. Okay, we haven't been Mario in a while. I think he's due. Come on, Mario. Show us how it's done. Ooh, this is the night level, I think, that has the porcupines and the, um, the ladybugs climbing trees. Murder you. That ostrich just totally committed suicide. Without a rider, I guess he had just no will to live. He was like, I want out of this cruel joke of an existence. Time to get some coins. I guess I could have got that extra coin. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it doesn't matter that we wasted it. We never would have got it. I guess we would have. Okay, let's not waste it again. go. So what is this, this dark world anyway? Is it like the dream world of dream worlds? Because we're in a dream world right now, so... I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Or I guess it's not that it doesn't make a lot of sense, it's just that I don't know. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That was the part I always died at as a kid. Oh god. Oh god! One up, yeah, we we deserve that one up. I think there's a mushroom somewhere around here, but I don't fully remember. Oh god. Who years of learning Mario timing, guys. And if you jump up there, you can like jump up there, and then you can pull one of those blocks out and it will drop a mushroom, yeah, see. But that's okay. As long as we got by this level. Usually most people have to use Luigi or Peach. Or at least I did as a kid to get through that. Even as an adult, I'm I'm surprised I didn't have to do that. Let's just murder this guy. We can take the hits. We just beast moded our way through him. Ugh, I was ready for the slot machine too. Didn't do anything. Oh, we got a one up. That should be more than one up. Like, come on. One cherry gives you a one up, but three of those guys is not worth like five or something crazy. Nothing. I feel like for this, it's so random. They could just like be like, you have eight coins, you got four one ups. Like they could just tell me. They don't have to put me through the rig rigmarole of making me do this. As a kid, you like had the illusion that maybe you could influence it, but it was just random. There's nothing you could do. Like, ooh, I just got a one up. I didn't do anything to earn that one up. 
I just sort of press buttons rapidly. Okay, uh, whose turn is it? I think it's Toad's turn. Toad hasn't seen some action in a while. Toad likes to participate. When they made the new Super Mario Brothers for the uh, Wii, the multiplayer one, I was really disappointed they put two Toads in it instead of Princess. Like, the gang is Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Toad. Um, it's just kind of lazy to just put two Toads. Uh, I always thought that, I don't know, I was like, why, why not put the Princess in? Um, it, would it have been that hard to, like, model up the princess? Oh, here we go. The ladybugs and the, uh, and the porcupines will show up soon. And, uh, ostriches, too. This is an awesome night level. Oops. Damn it. Oh, God. I knew we were gonna take that hit. Oh, shoot. Away! Away! I wonder if we can kill those guys and get the heart. We do need it. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Was not expecting a bomb! Like, of all the things I could have pulled out of the ground, didn't expect a bomb. Alright, let's go back for it. Now that I know what we're getting into here, you would walk right by the bomb. Be a jerk about it, wouldn't you? Ah, porcupines. Ooh. So if you drop this potion in here, it just disappears. By the way, we are inside a lamp right now. We are shrunk down. Like, look at the terrain around us. Like, the shape of this level, we are inside the vase or whatever. Like, that's weird. Weird and awesome. Oh, God! Almost died. Uh, let's do that again and get four more coins because we need all the money we can get. We're basically like, uh, like the poppers. Like, uh, like beggars, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We're an impoverished crew of Mario. Mario people. Alright. Let's do it like this. There we go. We got eight. Let's try and go down this... Whatever it is. I was gonna say pipe, instinctively. It's not a pipe, it's a vase. Oh, God! I thought that would have killed all of them. But it did not. Oh, Jesus. I should stop picking things out of the ground randomly, because half the time they end up being bombs. Oh, man. This is like... I don't know what I'm complaining about. This is easier than the fish. That fish level I just did. Because at least I can see, like, these things, and I know where to try and line my jumps up with. Oh, I killed them both. Huh. There we go. Ooh, froze time. Let's cause some trouble while time's frozen. Oh man. Kill you with an explosive. That's like a grenade. The pow. It's like a Mario style grenade. Yeah! Oh, we missed him! He he got lucky. That's one lucky porcupine. Alright, now we got another vertically scrolling stage. Fun fact, uh, early Nintendo games could only scroll left or right or up or down. Uh, I talked about this in the Sonic game, in, in the, my Sonic 2 playthrough actually, but until Mario 3, without a special chip, I mean Mario 3 had a special chip, so it's not like the NES changed, but until Mario 3, like games didn't really scroll both left and right and up and down at the same time because the way the Nintendo was programmed, um, it just couldn't handle that. Uh, this is all memory, by the way. I'm not actually... I don't actually know where to go. It's like, I just knew that entire procedure from memory. Like, you play these games enough as a kid, and you just know, stay to the right, stay to the left, stay to the left, stay to the right. Like, you just learn these things. We're gonna throw a fish at him, too, if we can manage it. Here, eat a fish. Ah, you shoot a fireball at me? How dare you. Guess what that earns you? An egg to the face, buddy. We beat him to death with his own eggs. We're gonna take a heart for good measure, even though we don't need it. I always thought, like, the boss level music should end when you killed the boss, because it felt like there was still something going on. Like, it still felt like, oh, there's, a, you know, an intense battle ensuing here. do 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 But really, there was nothing. The boss just left his mixtape on. He's long dead. Fail. Ah, Mario. 
I was about to say, okay, Luigi, you can go in again, but then I remembered I accidentally picked Luigi, and I didn't want him, and I decided, screw Luigi. We don't need that guy. Ooh, this is gonna be a lot of bombs, I think. Yep. Oh, they're just raining from the sky. Oh, this is cool. This is cool and terrifying. Go <laughs> in here. It's a safety maneuver at that point. Yeah, I'm getting coins. But it was more just to avoid getting killed by bombs. Oh, I didn't even get the cherry. Oh, I think this will freeze time. Yes. Yes! Freeze... Oh, no, that's a potion. Oh, look at this! Giant, uh... Giant tree things here. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Go away, Bob! Bomb man! <laughs> ba bomb I guess. There, we froze time. Nothing over here. Oh, that's easy. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Forget about that, we're not going down there, I guess. Or we're not going the easy way, we're gonna go down this way. It's just as easy. I think if you open this up, bombs will start coming out, yeah. But I can do this. There we go. Hmm. Do I really want to go down there? Yes, I do. Why not? I'm sure only fun times await us down here. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. How do I get out of here? There's, there's got to be a mushroom or something. Nothing! Oh, what a waste! Why did I come down here? Jesus. These guys look different than they do in the later Mario games. Hold oh, that! Did you see that save? Jesus, we are manipulating time a lot in this game. This level here, we're, we're depending on it. Imagine you could freeze time, like in real life. What an awesome ability that would be. Like, what would you do with that? Let's say you could actually freeze time. Um, I think, like, a common thing for people to do when they get superpowers like that is, like, rob a bank or something and, like, basically become rich. But if you could actually freeze time, you would have enough time in one day to do, like, everything you ever wanted to achieve in your whole life. I guess the ability to freeze time would only be super fun if you could also, like, unfreeze uh, friends and family. So it's like... It, oh, man, if that was the case, if you could freeze time and you could unfreeze whoever you wanted, then you literally could freeze time one day and you could just spend like a month or two months just doing whatever you want. I guess Rick and Morty did that in the season finale of uh, season one, was it? Whoops, oh shoot. No, stay away from me, bomb man. <laughs> I was trying to like outsmart that plant and I uh, messed up. But yeah, the ability to freeze time, that would be pretty awesome. I'm over here now and die <laughs> I love manipulating these guys through the like left and right screen stuff it's actually like really satisfying oh god I think he's done yeah there we go he's done I don't know why I'm carrying this block with me but it just feels like I might need it and I didn't need it so it's a big old waste just slowing me down Hey, we froze time again! We are time lords, man. Let's get rid of this guy. Just throw him off a tree to his death. Oh, yeah. And these Magic Carpet guys are awesome, too, actually. Which direction are you gonna go? Oh, my God. I thought he was gonna go over this way, which is why I didn't pick him up off the carpet initially. Oh, God, don't disappear. Don't... Holy shit! <laughs> Okay, so, can we freeze time again? No, nope. it's not gonna let us. Okay, we're gonna carry this guy and use him to kill the other guy and then take his magic carpet. That's how we do. Oh shoot, that didn't work. All right, well we landed. Whew, that is like a precision jump. Oh, we could have just skipped it? Oh yeah, now time freezes. Can we take this thing? Oh no, we can't! It's frozen! Oh no! Holy crap! Oh, and there's things flying at us! Man, when did this game get brutal? Oh god. Damn it! Okay, we gotta do this without getting hit. 
We gotta be smart about this. There we go, two down. Didn't fall for that, nice try. Nice try. Woo! <laughs> I feel like NES is one of the few... Oh, there's more! There's double bosses. Double bosses, oh, the crab guy. Oh! <laughs> he killed me with a rock. I threw a rock at him. It's from Batman the Animated Series. The Almost Got Him episode where all the villains are talking about how they almost got Batman that one time. Killer Croc almost got him. He threw a rock at him. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like NES is like one of the few systems that consistently gets my palms sweaty. It's because there's so much precision jumping in like old Nintendo games. Like real-time strategy games don't give me sweaty palms. It's only like NES games, where like at any second, if you're not fast enough, you could fall in the pit and just die. There's no equivalent in like a real-time strategy game where like, if you're not fast enough, you're just dead. Like your whole base just gets sucked up into a portal and you're gone. Um, no, it's, it's just platformers. I got sweaty palms with Sonic too at a few points. Nothing. Mario is a problem gambler. After every level, he's just jonesing for that slot machine. Now we'll go Toad again. We'll throw a Luigi and a princess in on the next two levels. And then maybe we'll be done with them because <laughs> I really don't like them. But in the interest of variety, it's nice to mix these things up. Um, now, this game was... We're, we're skipping a lot of these, these things, by the way. Maybe we should just go in one just to see. This game was remade for Super Nintendo um, when Nintendo put out Mario and the Lost Levels. Or no, not Lost Levels, Mario All-Stars. Mario All-Stars had Lost Levels. So yes, this was not actually the real Mario 2. This again is Doki Doki Panic. There's a good gaming historian video you can go watch if you want to learn more. But the real Mario 2 that was only released in Japan is basically just like Mario 1 but with harder levels. Um, and it was released, so Nintendo remade this game, and Mario 1, and Mario 3, and the Japanese Mario 2 for Super Nintendo, and it, the game was called Mario All-Stars. It had all four games, and the Japanese Mario 2 was called Mario The Lost Levels. Um, so if you actually want to play the Japanese Mario 2, that's the easiest way that I know of to go and get it. I mean, I guess it's on the virtual console these days, but, like, I don't do any of that stuff. I just buy games if I want them, um, or find them through other means. I don't know. The virtual console, I feel like, is a bit of a ripoff, because, like, I own Mario All-Stars, and anytime I want to play those games forever, I have it. If I, bought, if I bought it on, like, the virtual console, then, like, I don't know, like, it's like a downloadable game. What happens if something happens to my Wii or something? I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of downloadable games. But anyway, you can get it there if you really, really want. And, uh, woo. Oh, we fell for it. <laughs> we fell for his trick of shooting fireballs and we ran into it. Is there a mushroom over here? Yes, there is. So we got redeemed. Oh, get that one. Don't leave that behind, Toadie. So, uh, yeah, in the Mario All-Stars version, they really upgraded the graphics, and actually, I think, damn it, my preferred way of playing this game is to play the Mario All-Stars version, because it also has save files and stuff, um, and the Japanese version of this game, of Doki Doki Panic, also had just the save function, but they didn't include it. It had a battery pack in the NES cartridge. Um, ah, oh, damn it. But they didn't include it for the, um for the, 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 the Mario 2. When they made Mario 2, they didn't include that. Which is kind of annoying. I wish they had included it. Um, but nope, they they didn't include it. Um, which made this game a little harder, but whatever. Um, oh yeah, this guy. This guy is hard. But if you're fast enough... Oh god, you can get through it. He only shoots fireballs, there's no eggs. Um, yeah, I, d I totally, if anyone out there is trying to make a Super Nintendo collection, I 100% recommend Mario All-Stars. It's such a great deal! You get four Mario games, and four good, good Mario games. There's even a version of All-Stars that also has Mario World for the Super Nintendo, which is pretty cool. Alright, this is the last Luigi level that we're gonna see. Because Luigi's about to get the boot. It's only gonna be Mario and Toad after this. Oh, this is a good level for Luigi, though. Luigi or Peach do well on this level. This is an interesting level. You have to ride a bird um, forever. You just ride the bird to the end of the level. Hope for the best. Damn it. 
The best did not happen for poor old Luigi. Poor old big head Luigi. Look at that noggin. He's like raging with uh, with testosterone right now. He's so upset. Um, now we're not going to use this because then we would have to go back to the beginning of the level and get on this bird again. So we're not doing that. This is his this is his power juice that he's got. I wonder what happened if you ate if you drank that stuff. Would it like make a door inside of you? That would be really weird. Hey, you can go up here. Huh. I guess I'm so used to playing the All-Stars version, I don't think you can go on that ledge in the All-Stars version. Anyway, and here's this guy again. It's gonna be harder with Luigi. Boom. Oh, God. There's two. Oh! Oh, man, this is gonna be hard. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, we got it. We got him. Whew! Give me your egg! Or whatever it is you were protecting. And into bird mouth. Do 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 do! No bonus! Alright, last one for Peach. Let's see what she can do. Come on, Peach. Show us. Show us how it's done. Oh, this is an interesting level, too, actually. So, we're gonna go through the level, but if you wanted, you could go into the quicksand over here, and basically you can jump under this wall, and if you keep going, you'll find a door over there, and it will take you to the end of the level. So, yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, we're not gonna do that, obviously, though. Now, I don't know where there's a mushroom in this level, so I don't even know where to throw this potion, but... Oh, look how big this door is! Wow, we might as well get that one coin. Because why not? We'll have at least one. Jeez, that is a beastly door. <laughs> oh, jeez, we're in, like, Giant World all of a sudden. It's like Mario 3. What's going on? There's, like, ladders on the ceiling? What an interesting world. Oh, man. She she picks up stuff really slow. She's not a good person to have to, like, use bombs. Go, Peach, go! Go, Peach, go! Oh, she did it! Like a boss. Hmm. I'm gonna stay up. I'm sure I can get coins and stuff by going down, but I'm probably gonna get trapped somehow. Um, I could get some coins this way too, though. That's that's good enough for Peach. Eh, I don't need the mushroom either. We'll do it. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, huh, that's it. Oh man, there's probably so many more coins down there I could have got. Oh well. To hell with it. You have to, like, know these little things about these different levels, about, like, when to use the potion and where the, where the, like, mushrooms are and all these things, but... Just climbing some vines with some ladybugs. Don't mind me. Oh, this part's always fun. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I always like doing that. The trick is to always hold up. Never let your finger off the up button, and you'll always climb. Uh, that's how you get through these levels pretty easily. Oh, God. And for that guy, like, there's no trick. You just kind of have to hope he doesn't get you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> get your thumb on the up button. My dad taught me that. Back when we first got this game, he was like, always press up, son. Always keep your hand on uh, your finger on that up button. That's how you get through it. And lo and behold, he was correct. It was fun back in the day when, like, my parents would actually, like, trade gaming secrets with me. I mean, it doesn't really happen anymore these days. It's not like my mom could tell me something new about a video game. She's like, you know, by the way, in the ra current raid in Destiny, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't even play Destiny anymore, but, like, why would my mom know about it? She just wouldn't. Whoa! Oh, I didn't even jump off these things. There you go. And voila, we made it to the end of the level. Oh, this is always fun. You can, like, be in the ground. Um, so, see the cloud over there? There's, like, a door over that way, and that's the door that you find if you climb under that wall at the beginning of the level. So we could have skipped all the way to this point if we, would like, really wanted to. But again, skipping is for losers. Well, we're not a loser. We're a winner. Boom. Oh, God. Kill him! Yes. Okay, now I'm pretty sure there's one more boss over here. I'm pretty sure it's the snake guy once again. Jump up. Yeah, here he is. He's back with a vengeance. Okay, here's the trick for this guy. 
You need to build like a little uh, fortress over here. Keep him from shooting at you. I think you need to go three high and then you're pretty much safe. Yeah, I don't think he can get us anymore. And then just kill him. You gotta you kinda have to like if I just if I just throw these things from a standstill, they go like that, so you kinda have to have some forward momentum. It's tricky when there's only like one block to stand on. But it can be done. As you as you're seeing as you're witnessing right now, the glory that is the gaming of the Jays is showing you guys how to power your way through Mario 2. Getting all my lead tips. Such as mash the button at the casino stages. I mean, Sonic 2 at a casino stage? Why can't why can't Mario 2 have a, have a casino stage? Ah, oh, damn it! I peeked back and okay, she gets one more. She gets one more. We'll do, I guess, Mario for the last level. Because this is the second last level. We were just flying through this. Okay, so you could stand here and go blinky, and then jump on this guy, and then go this way, which is what you're supposed to do. We will do that, but let's see the level first. Because this is an awesome level, because the ground explodes away. Those guys break holes into the ground. It's actually pretty awesome. They're being, like, paradropped in by, like, uh, birds and stuff. Like, look how dangerous this level is. Jesus. I'm gonna take this thing. I think, is there a mushroom here? We definitely don't want the, um... We don't want the coin yet, because we want the coin in here. Let's see. Um... This one? No. This one? No. Okay, so third one in. Third one in, we got this. We're gonna get a ton of coins. Not like we need it. We have, like, 15 lives or something, and we're on the second last level. Although, knock on wood, I don't know, maybe we do need it. Not getting the mushroom this time, this is just a pure coin run. Oh, I almost got the mushroom. Kill you. There's a kind of funny thing you can do here, bouncing that block on top of yourself. I'll show you guys. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, in fact, let's, let's get the mushroom this time because we don't need all these coins. We're just getting greedy now. We've got the greed going through us. Oh, we got all the coins too. Cool. Okay, there's the time frozen. Let's just kill these guys. Oh. Oh. Jeez, I can't even hit them when, when time itself is frozen. There we go. Now, if you get this, and you go and you throw it in the corner there, it bounces off you. <laughs> I always thought that was so cool as a kid. I don't know how I discovered that. I guess it was like bored one day. But yeah, I'm not pressing down. When it lands on me, it makes me press down, and then it, it bounces off of me. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Anyway, we got our mushroom. We got everything we need. Now we go and we jump on this bird. And this is what you're supposed to do. So this is the same bird from the beginning of the level. And this was a hard level when, when I was a kid. Because it's like, where do you go? Like, it just appeared like the level ended to the right. And again, you'd have to remember back that riding a bird is actually a thing that you could do. And lo and behold, um, there is a rocket ship over here. It will take you... It, I mean, this looks like a secret. This does not look like how you play a level normally. It's like Mylon's Secret Castle, where like everything's like cryptic. Only this is what you're actually supposed to do. Also, where are we right now? We've like fought our way up to heaven. This is like, this is like Shy Guy Heaven. This is where the Shy Guys go when they die. They go here. This is where I've been sending them. I do not know how to get past. Oh, damn it, that pink guy. I've never known. Maybe, do we pick up one of these guys? Could this be the secret after all these years? I don't think it does anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they wanted Peach dead hardcore. They were like, no one gets into heaven. No one but Wart, the evil dream master. Wart actually appears in Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is another game that takes place in a dream world, which is kind of cool, actually. Oh, we got the Nintendo slowdown happening. Ah, oh, damn it. Are you serious? We gotta get some of these guys to despawn, because this is bogus. Okay, they despawned. There we go. Good thing this level doesn't have time limits. You just take all the time you need. Yeah, I don't know how to get past that guy without taking a hit. And, I mean, that's pretty good to only take one hit at that part. 
Like, years, years have gone by. I've, maybe I could watch a YouTube video these days that would show me what to do, but like, I've been playing this game for decades. I don't know how to get past that guy without taking a hit. Just seems impossible. <laughs> Damn it, that, that is also impossible. Oh, God. <laughs> I freed it, it killed me, then I killed it. And it went back, and then the, the thing I freed it out of closed up. Okay, so I guess... I guess we gotta, like, do this. Okay, we kill him. Kill him. There we go. Life just got a lot easier. A lot simpler. Do this. There we go. Hold up. Remember to always hold up. We just try and hope. Oh, man. Like, brush the bottom of my skirt there. All right. They really kind of balance, like, Peach as a character, and same with Luigi, by making the bosses harder. Let's kill him! Kill him! There we go. As long as you have a couple of health points, you can just take those hits, and it doesn't matter. Oh, that was weird. The bird guy respawned. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, we gotta get to 20 lives! We have way more lives than we ever need. But again, that's okay. That's how we roll. Yes! A couple of sniffets. What were the name of those, like, bouncy guys? Shy guys were the guys walking around with the normal serial killer masks. Sniffets are the guys with, like, the nose that spit stuff out. What are, like, the bird guys that kind of, like, hop their way along the level? What are their names? I actually don't know. Bird something? All right, Mario started this dream. He's the one who gets to end it. World 7-2. See what's over here. Nothing. All right. Whoa! Can't believe that worked. Come here, you. Can use you to kill him. Oh man. That'd be pretty awesome to like kill a guy by throwing him into another guy. Like that. Oh, we killed all three of them. That's awesome. Damn it. <laughs> Oh well, let's go down here and see where this goes. This level's a bit of a maze, and to be honest, I don't remember where any of it goes. So we're just gonna explore and eventually, hopefully, pass the level. I think we can do it. I think we've got it in us. I'm channeling, I'm channeling my inner Miyamoto. Oh shit! <laughs> I wonder if Miyamoto had known that the Mario 2 that he developed for North America would be too hard, and they asked him to instead develop a different game, what he would have developed. Because again, this was developed as, a di as not a Mario game. Some of the people who worked on Mario worked on Doki Doki Panic, so that's why it has a Mario feel, and it actually worked very well as a Mario game. But it was not, in t you know, like it wasn't planned out to be a Mario game. So like if Miyamoto had been told, create a Mario game, I wonder what he would have created if they were like, it can't be like Mario 1, it has to be different. And this was before Mario 3. I guess maybe it would have just been some early prototype of Mario 3 is what we probably would have gotten. Because that's the Mario he ended up creating. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Hello? We don't need coins anymore because there's no more levels after this. But hell, let's get one anyway. Yeah, that's that's Mario's personal coin. He's gonna hold on to that. He'll use that to remember his uh, little adventure in Dreamland. Oh man, isn't it the the biggest uh, disappointment ever when you are like in a dream and you have like something cool, like a coin or a game or something that you've wanted for a long time, and then you wake up and you don't have it anymore? Imagine if you could actually take things out of dreams. That would that would be amazing. That would be like, I don't even know. People would intentionally be trying to have certain kinds of dreams just to pull certain things out. Um, I guess in Freddy Krueger, didn't they pull him out of a dream? So maybe it's possible. <laughs> because we all know that that movie is scientifically accurate. So maybe it is possible to pull things out of dreams. Jeez, that would be that would be freaky actually if it ever did happen. Even if it was something I wanted, I that would freak me the hell out actually. If I woke up in bed and I was holding on to something I was just dreaming about, I would be like, what is I, I would think I was still dreaming. I'd be like, I'm not in the real world. Like something has happened. Uh, I'm in a computer program or a dream still. Something weird. Alright. 
Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shy guy, no shy guy. <laughs> Stay away from me. I like how they pause. Hold on, let's just go look at him for a sec. I like how he like just, he walks in one direction and then he just rides the escalator the other way. <laughs> He's kind of a lazy shy guy. Pretty funny though. Oh, hello. Huh. I don't know if I have to kill you, but I will because I like it. I like the feel of a dead birdo on a conveyor belt. It really does it for me. Oh, damn it. He's gonna get me, isn't he? Dead. Nothing. Okay, so we totally didn't have to kill that guy. Ugh. Yeah. A uh, locked door. Okay. So let's see. Go in here. There's actually, I think, two or three routes you can take through this uh, palace, basically, and we're we're just doing one of the routes. So, yeah. You could go back and play this level and uh, carry on. Remember when I like popped on those spikes near the bomb guys and then like went down uh, a chain? Well, you could basically continue on the escalator and see where that goes. And you'd find a whole different set of stuff. So that's pretty cool, if you were wondering. We actually are gonna throw the key away here because I can't afford to dance with this guy. Because he might actually kill me. All right, this is, this is actually a really cool part of the game. Because for the entirety of the game, the way it's worked is you pick up this little ball here and then that opens up and you go on to the boss. But all of a sudden you pick this up and this thing attacks you. And you gotta attack it back <laughs> or risk dying. Oh shoot, he was too slow. And then you kill it and it opens up and it catches you in the air. I always thought that was so cool. This is it guys, we made it to the end of Mario 2. We have one more boss to kill and it is the despicable wart. I always thought it was funny the way you kill this guy is by making him eat vegetables. So we are going to jam so many vegetables down his throat that he barfs them up and dies. And that's how we're going to kill him. Blah, and he's like, oh, tomato, no, my only weakness. Oh, Jesus. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Um, we should start wrapping this video up, though, since we are going to beat the game momentarily. Super Mario Brothers 2 is one of the games in the book 1001 video games you must play before you die, and it is a terrific platformer. It still holds up as one of the most interesting and well-done platformers, I think, of the retro era. It's still playable today. It's very fun. Um, I mean, Mario Maker showed us that Mario gameplay is pretty much timeless because Mario levels are still fun. And I was very disappointed when they made Mario Maker. They did not make a Mario 2 palette. They've never made a sequel to this game. It is one of the most unique Mario games out there. Go play this or play it on the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance version is actually slightly updated, so maybe it's the one you want to try. But however you do it, you should check this game out before you die. It is totally awesome. And uh, guys, what do you think? Is Mario 2 an awesome game that you love as much as me? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Um, but otherwise, it's been really fun checking this game out with you. So let's just see what happens now. We've defeated Wart by jamming veggies in his throat. And we open up a pot and all these weird guys come out. And apparently good times are now had by all. So now we get to see who we played as the most. We actually had a fairly even split. Beyond favoring Mario slightly more than Luigi, because Luigi sucks, um, <laughs> we played every character an equal number of times. That's awesome. So they like carry Ward out and beat him up, which is pretty funny. The biggest contributor is Mario. Man, I wonder what happens actually if you do have totally even contributions. I've never tried that. I have no idea. I guess it would probably just be the last character you played as. And what is this? Mario was sleeping the whole time. I told you it was like Inception, a dream within a dream. He's dreaming about this whole thing. Just in his in his bed with his Mario cap. I have my Gaming J Santa hat I wear to sleep too. Pretty sure we all wear those nightcaps. If uh, cartoons from the 1930s have taught me anything. He wakes up, and there's nothing there, and he goes right back to sleep. Dreaming about the cast and crew. I always like this about in Mario games. Mario 2 started this, but Mario 2 did this as well. But when you beat a Mario game, it kind of gives you the credits. And it, like, shows you all, like, enemies. And in Mario 3, the levels and stuff that you played. Um, it's a really fun, nice way to, like, go back and, and show, you, uh, show you the game that you played. And let you reminisce. Uh, Bezos. Oh, we're going to get to see the name of those guys. Porcupos. Those are porcupines. Tweeters! Tweeters! That's the guy I was thinking of. And Bob-Oms. 
and Hoop Stars. He has never appeared in another Mario game, nor has a Trouter, nor has a Pidget. Shy Guys have. Shy Guys made the jump. Panzer, I don't think he ever did. Flurries, no. Um, did Albatoss? Maybe. Phanto never did. Really, Shy Guys and the uh, Cactus guys are like the big success story. Th these guys, Pokies. They were in Mario World and Yoshi could like eat them. Birdo, we need more Birdos! Wait. Wait. Birdo and Ostro. No, those are reversed, aren't they? Whoa, hold on, hold on. No, Birdo's the guy that spits the eggs. Not the guy that those those names are messed up. Oh my god, I never never knew that as a kid. But yeah, Birdo's the boss. Ostro was the ostrich. That's so funny. You learn something new every day. Anyway, guys, I had a blast playing this game with you. Um, as I've said, you know we're we're on episode two hundred one. We have so many great games uh, to to come in the year to come. So uh, if you've been liking this video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and tune back in in a couple days because I will be back with a new video and a new game in the ongoing series. Let's play one thousand and one games. So until next time, my friends, sleep well in your comfy, comfy bunks, dream of awesome dream worlds, and otherwise, peace. Hoyo! Come and get me, buddy! Come and get me, I'm right here! Or am I over here? Or am I here?